moment of inertia for other bodies like this is a rectangular slab so rectangular slab having length l and its breadth is b and it is a slab having no thickness so just like a disc so it is rectangular so it is l and b and the axis is passing through the center center means it is these two are the diagonals so from the intersection point it is perpendicular so through this point the axis is passing and the if the slab rotates then its moment moment of inertia is given by m by 12 m is the mass of the slab m by 12 into l square plus b square and if it is a square slab if it is the length is l and its breadth is l also then it will be the formula will be same but here m by 12 l square plus l square that means m by 12 into 2 l square that will give you m l square by 6 where m is the mass of this uh, slab and next is the hollow sphere so this is the hollow sphere rotating about any of its axis passing through its center so if its mass is m radius is r then its moment of inertia is 2 by 3 mr square so 2 by 3 mass into radius square and if it is a solid wall solid sphere so this is like this so i have said it this just to because we cannot understand from 2d figure that this is a hollow ball and this is a solid ball but suppose this is a solid ball rotating about an axis passing through its center so the mass is m and the radius is r then its moment of inertia is 2 by 5 mr square so you have to memorize all these things so moment of inertia of every rigid body that we have to remember for the purpose of you know this is required because in we have to just apply this moment of inertia but i am just uh, I, i will find the moment of inertia of a solid sphere because this may be required in some of your course works so that i will do so the derivation of moment of inertia that is 2 by 5 mr square for a solid sphere that i will derive